Hi and welcome to this introduction video to light. Now light is very very mysterious and uh, to be honest um, I don't think there's many people in the world that actually understand what light is and, uh, and I'm one of them. I, I understand very little of what light is and how it propagates and, um, and, and does the things that light does. Uh, and but what I do know and what I do understand is some of the properties of light and that is what we're going to look at in the uh, in this course is some of the wave properties of light okay so the wave properties the wave properties of light now an interesting thing is that waves need to propagate in a medium and that's the one thing about light is that it doesn't need to propagate in a medium it can propagate in a vacuum that is why even though there is a vacuum between the sun and us um, we still experience the light from the sun okay so even though these properties that uh, that light has that is wave like properties it is not necessarily a wave neither is it a particle now there's a difference between waves and particles that I don't want to go in now but consider particles as gunshots like uh, or, or bullets being shot out of a gun and um, and those bullets also come towards earth now for bullets to reach earth that's like rays okay rays of sun to reach earth obviously we don't it's not like a wave but um, that's not really how light works either okay but anyways let's leave it there and start looking into the wave properties of light the first thing I want to say is that if light is a wave it means that we have wavelength lambda okay and a frequency okay of how many waves pass by per second and the the product of these two gives me the velocity I hope you remember this okay now the velocity of light waves we're going to call C is a whopping 3 times 10 to the power of 8 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second okay that is 300 million meters per per second. I think that's about seven times around the earth in one second. That is incredible. Okay. So that is the the speed. This is called the speed of light. The speed of light waves. Okay. And it's also important that I mention this is the speed that light has when it is actually traveling in a vacuum. Okay. In other words, when it's traveling through a medium like through air or um, water or anything like that, it's less than this. Okay. This is if there, if it's in a vacuum, it's traveling at that velocity. Okay, but what is light? Well, again, I I don't really know what to answer to that question. One thing that I can tell you that visible light. This is the visible. Uh, the visible light spectrum uh, visible light spectrum okay which means there's an invisible light spectrum there's light that you can't see okay so we can see blue light and um, or actually let's start this side we can see red light orange light yellow light green light actually there's light that we cannot see for example we cannot see ultraviolet light okay so there's light here that is ultraviolet. It's UV. Okay, and you can see that ultra means um, more, okay, or higher, or very large. So ultraviolet means that, that these light waves are becoming so large that our um, eyes cannot perceive them then we get infrared okay infrared is on this side of the scale infrared okay or IF 
sorry, not I have IR. Okay. IR rays. It's infrared rays. That is that is rays that's being used actually by your television remote. Okay, your television remote actually we remote a Wii remote is an infrared um, a camera. It picks up infrared light, okay, which means it can pick up frequencies or wavelengths that your eye can't see. Okay, so so the wavelengths that we as humans can perceive are these weird wavelengths in here. Okay, so humans can perceive the violet wavelengths, the um, indigo wavelengths, the blue wavelengths, uh, the green wavelengths, the yellow wavelengths, the orange wavelengths, the red wavelengths, and then at some point we can't see anymore. But one thing that I want you to notice is that the wavelengths that we perceive, or actually the colors that we perceive, are simply different wavelengths of light. Okay, so in other words, red light is a wavelength of about, it's a between, uh, let me just change my color, it's between 600 and 20 to about 750 nanometers, okay, nanometers. A nanometer is times 10 to the power of 9, uh, negative 9, I mean, times 10 to the power of negative 9. In other words, one nanometer is a billionth of a meter. So this is really, really, really very tiny uh, wavelengths. Okay, blue light, I th no, let's look at green light. Green light is between about 495 to about 570 nanometers. Okay, that is the wavelength that we are perceiving. In other words, color is simply a, the, our eyes interpretation of the wavelengths that it is experiencing. And there are wavelengths that we cannot see because our eyes or our mind can't register that or interpret that. However, there are animals on Earth that can register infrared as well as um, ultraviolet light. Okay, so, um, and there's definitely technology that uses infrared uh, as well as ultraviolet. Um, and then this spectrum is much larger than just this little bit that I'm showing here. And the whole spectrum is actually called the um, electro, the electromagnetic spectrum. And this electromagnetic spectrum includes a whole range of different types of, um, of rays and, and light. For example, I, I, we talked about this ultraviolet light, the visible light, the infrared light. Okay? Then we get things like uh, X-rays. You know what they um, take X-rays with? That is a type of light or electromagnetic wave. And then we get radio waves. That's the uh, waves that's being used to transmit uh, data or information to your radio that you are using to listen to the radio or watch television even. And then we get things like gamma rays, which is a very, very high frequency, um, extreme high frequency and extremely small uh, wavelengths of light. Gamma rays uh, is, is, is another type of ray. Microwaves that you cook your food with is just a type of light or rather electromagnetic um, wave that is being utilized to transfer energy uh, um, and cook your food in that way. Okay, so that is, I don't know if that was very good introduction to light, but that's my introduction to light. Uh, light is um, it's mysterious. It has wave-like properties. And that wave-like properties is what we are going to investigate during the next couple of videos. Uh, take note, speed of light in a vacuum is um, 2.98 blah blah blah, uh, rounded to about 3 times 10 to the power of 8. Um, and since it, light does have um, wave-like properties, we can use speed, frequency, and wavelength to predict, determine, and investigate more things about light. Well, 
Good having you. See you in the next video.